It's the spring of the year, and we're plying the skinny waters along the shoreline of Lake Ontario for trophy brown trout. As these huge browns come on board, the talk always turns to table fare and how to prepare them correctly. Let's go first to the preparation table as we show you one of my favorite recipes, and then we'll take you back to the action as we catch some astounding brown trout in the spring of the year. Some great brown trout here today on Lake Ontario, and one of the things that our customers always ask us about is what's the best way to prepare these fish? So let's take it right from the cleaning table to every step of one of the most simple recipes that you could possibly have for any type of Lake Ontario fish. Everybody who's in the restaurant business or around us at the Westview Lodge knows that I have a rule. It has to be able to be cooked in under 20 minutes or I don't want anything to do with it. So let's take a look at the brown trout that we've got here. We've got a medium-sized brown. I kept him because he's nice and fat. He's been eating pretty well. I'm going to cut the belly flap off this fish when I start to flay just so that I'm not working through all the guts and the entrails of the fish. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to get that right out of the body cavity. I'm going to take a 9 inch more flexible fillet knife and I'm going to take a fillet off the side of this fish that, that we can work with. Cut down here, I'm going to run right down along the backbone, you can hear it cutting through those bones. We leave a little bit of a tip on, beautiful orange filet. We don't push the knife totally down against the skin because we want to leave that fat layer against the skin that we've talked about in some of our in some of our other videos. So let's just leave this section of fish where it's at for right now. See the table up here quick so that we can show you what has to be done with this fish. Now we've got the filet off the side of this brown trout. We want to prepare it and we want to get this thing ready for the table. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to trim this rib cage out of the fish. We're just going to lay that knife down and we're going to walk it down the inside of that rib cage at an angle, at a 45 degree angle. You can see how I'm just taking the ribs here and I'm coming off underneath this. Just making it nice and clean. I'm going to cut that, make sure that any little white spot, that's fatty tissue, any fatty tissue areas we want to get off that fish. So now we've got a nice clean, nice clean fillet. You can see the pin bones, if you get right in tight here, see these pin bones that are walking right down this fillet? You can feel them with the tip of your blade. You can either lay your blade, cut down on both sides of that and pull that strip out, or if you watch a lot of the cooking shows on TV, they'll take a set of needle nose pliers and they'll grab the end of those pin bows and they'll pluck them out of the fillet so that that fillet stays whole. Now when we roll this over on the opposite side, you'll notice that right here along the knife line, this is called the lateral line on a fish. This is a fish's fingers and toes. When they're sensing bait fish and they're on the hunt in the water column, when they sweep that bait fish, they're sweeping it because this is where all uh, the nerve endings come closest to the fish's skin on the surface of their body. And they'll read distress in that bait through this lateral line. It's also a very fatty tissue area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that knife right down along the side at 45 degrees, and we're gonna cut this lateral line out of the fish. Once we get that lateral line taken out of the fish, this filet is virtually 100% pollutant free. We've got anything that's gonna taste poorly in that in that fish filet taken, taken off the surface off the surface of the fish so it's nice and clean now here's what we're going to do from a recipe standpoint we've got this beautiful clean fillet of fish now how do we handle it when we're cooking going to turn your barbecue grill on to medium heat and while that's heating up I want you to get some fresh asparagus. I want you to put that out on the grill. Uh, get some butter, liquid butter, and a basting brush, and I want you to baste that asparagus. Put a little cracked black pepper on it. Keep them on one side. Start that grill at medium heat. Then you're going to come into the kitchen, and you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil about this big. And once you get that aluminum foil, you're going to make sure that this filet is patted dry. And then you're going to take butter on the tips of your fingers, and you're going to rub that butter into the surface of this filet. Once that's done, you're gonna spread butter 
on the tin foil as well. So you've got a butter, a butter surface on the filet, butter surface on the tin foil. Then you're going to lightly sprinkle that with lemon pepper seasoning. Once that's done, you're going to take this filet and you're going to and you're going to flip it over onto the aluminum foil so that you got the clean side of the filet up. Now you're going to take butter again on the tips of your fingers and you're going to rub it into the surface of the filet, sprinkle it again lightly with lemon pepper seasoning on the surface, and then take a lemon and you're going to cut that lemon into eighth of an inch discs. And then on the surface of the filet, you're going to lay a disc edge to edge all the way down the surface of that filet on the aluminum foil. Once that's done, all you need is a medium chunky salsa. And I want you to pour a two inch line onto the aluminum foil, up onto that filet, down the center of the filet, and off on this end. Once that's completed, all you need to do is tent that aluminum foil so that there's air space, roll up the ends, create a tent, pop that on the barbecue grill for 15 minutes. Once that's prepared, your asparagus has always been already been on for a little while, so you're gonna roll that asparagus, you're gonna brush it again with butter, put cracked black pepper on the other side. 15 minutes, you're gonna uncap this aluminum foil, this filet is gonna be done, and the asparagus is gonna be done at the same time. And you're gonna be in and out of this recipe in under 20 minutes, beginning to end. It's gonna be a tantalizing taste treat. Your taste buds are gonna be thanking you. Your family's gonna be thanking you. Everyone in the neighborhood's gonna to wanna to be coming to your house for dinner. And what you're serving is Lake Ontario brown trout. And that's the best way to do it. Let's go back to the action on Lake Ontario. Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third on the back deck of the Safe Charter 5. I'm here to tell you the only person more famous in this world today in April, more famous than Stormy Daniels is my buddy, Mike Evans. He has got a giant fish on. This guy, I'm looking at this brown. He's a huge fish. Hold that to the side for me. Mike, come on right over. Keep your line outside the downrigger booms right there. We're going to work them right up the side. You just be ready, Tony, with that uh, throttle. I may have you pull, you know, black to the middle and give me neutral when he gets close. He's got a big lamprey eel right on the top of his head. So when I get the net under this, I'm going to be coming in fast. So you guys behind me watch the butt of the net because I'm going to be moving like a bum going after a ham sandwich. That's how fast I'm going to be flying when this guy comes in. He's coming right here. Mike's got a real good bend in him, keeping it nice and even, just hold him steady. Doing a good job with the wheel, Tony. We're just going to work him in. I believe <clears throat> this fish came on the gold tuxedo, which is so hot for us on the eastern shore when we're fishing out of Henderson. Not generally uh, a great, great bait down here on the south shore, but this year in 2018, it's been doing a phenomenal that wind down. Perfect. That's perfect right there. Let's just put steady, even pressure on him. Tony, a little bit to the right with the boat. You're doing a great job. Everybody's perfect. This guy's coming in. Looking good. This is a big, big brown. Tony, give me neutral. Oh, he's going the other way. Forward, Tony. Black boots on him now. Wind down. Wind down, wind down, wind down. Raise your rod tip back up. Here he comes, here he comes. And I got him forward, coming in. Big, 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 giant brown. Damn. And look at that lamprey stuck to his head right there. Look at the size of this big football. There's a good look at this fish right here. You can see that gold tuxedo, everybody, that uh, that, that fish came on. In this uh, partially clearing water, a good choice. Natural, but good visibility. Look at the hog belly on that. Perfect example of what a football brown's supposed to be like. Man, he was taking it, coming, and he was giving it, taking it the whole way, Mike. Yeah, he was. What do you feel like, buddy? I thought the drag was too loose. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to your fishing compadres? Any uh, advice you could give them? Well, if you don't know how to do this, you got to come up here and talk to Bill. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to give you that $20, I promised you. Yeah, I knew I would get it. <laughs> that is a beauty. Good job, buddy boy. Perfect.